All right, many of us have had that problem where you get a list of people, but you need to separate them into first, middle, or last name, or just first and last name, and you don't want to type it all out again. So if it's consistent like this is right here, the solution is pretty simple. You go to data, text to columns, make sure delimited is selected, hit next, click on space here and all you're saying here is what's separating each name so hit next and then what I like to do here is for the middle one I'll put B the last name I'll put C and you'll see why so it separates it right here so if this is consistent all you have to do is that and bam you're done However, if things are more complicated and it's inconsistent, you might have to take a different approach. If you don't want to use the text to columns method, I put the formulas right here, but I'm not going to focus on that too much because the next section is going to set conditions based on whether there are two names shown or three. But if you want to use this, go ahead. I have it right here and I'll also put it in the video description. If you get a list of names and each row is different in terms of the number of names, some might have middle names, some might not, what you can do is set a rule. And what I'm doing in this case is if there are three names, I'm going to take the middle name, literally the middle name there, the second one, and put that into this. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it blank. So the first thing you need to do is you need to count the number of names, and that's what this is right here. Same thing. And then first name, it's the same formula as I showed you here. For the middle name, like I said, we're going to look for uh, three names. We're going to take the one in the middle. So this and this are the same thing. So you can see with the green font, it's going to take the middle name. Otherwise, purple, uh, if there are two words or two names, it's going to leave it blank. Now for the last name, and that and this are the same. What it does is it looks for the third of three or the second of two. And so if it was uh, second of two, it would take this one because there's two. Otherwise, it would take the third right here because there's three. And so you can kind of see how that works. And so let's say you did this for one row and you want to apply it to all of them. You just want to go like that and drag it down. And there you go. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you could like or subscribe, it would help support the channel and allow me to do more of this in the future. Thanks again.